The Stanford Surgical Oncology Fellowship is a relatively new program. It actually just started uh, last year in 2020. The fellowship covers the full gamut of surgeon, but it has a special focus on HPB, sarcoma, and peritoneal malignancies. I'm spending seven months each year on these core GI oncology fields, which represent the most complex oncology cases. The rest of the year, I've had the opportunity to reinforce my training in breast oncology, endocrine surgery, and colorectal surgery, which most surgical oncologists out in practice will have to see and manage. We are known as an institution for our ability to handle pancreatic cancer and retroperitoneal sarcoma cases that require vascular reconstruction. We routinely do sarcomas with aorto cable reconstructions. We have established a HIPEC program, which is one of the most robust uh, on the West Coast. These are the tough cases you want in a fellowship. There are significant opportunities and an expectation for the surgical oncology fellows to emerge into the multidisciplinary care of the cancer patient. First, outpatient clinics are, are held at the NCI-designated Stanford Cancer Institute, where the fellows are able to evaluate patients alongside not only their surgical oncology faculty mentor, but also alongside consultants from the fields of medical oncology and radiation oncology. We also have tumor boards and almost all the, the different uh, disciplines. So we have a upper GI tumor board, we have a pancreatic tumor board, colorectal and liver tumor boards as well. In our tumor boards, we have this rich interaction with experts in medical oncology, radiation oncology, and IR. Ultimately, in my own practice, I will have to lead a tumor board myself. And it's been so great to see the surgeons here serve as role models for that. Surgical Oncology Fellow will be an important contributor to the education of our general surgery residents and medical students, as well as mid-level providers. It's important for them to sort of interact, learn how to teach, learn how to, to get the residents motivated in terms of research, making you know lecture slides, or even interacting in the operating room. Fellowship has two months of dedicated research each year. Besides that, the faculty have been great about helping me with my publications. For example, this month I'm submitting two sarcoma manuscripts. The best thing about working here is essentially Stanford's rich academic community. Every discipline you can think of, you can look around campus and find essentially a global expert in any field you want to study. More importantly, these experts are eager to work with our faculty and trainees within the Department of Surgery and the School of Medicine to solve important clinical problems. The other things that uh, we've been able to do is um, uh, create uh, research forums uh, where uh, we specifically meet just on uh, topics that, that uh, are pertinent to not only to Stanford, but to, to other communities. One of my favorite parts of the program has been the weekly case conference with the five Sir John and HPB faculty. We go over the difficult or controversial cases that are coming up over the CT scans, how they've responded to therapy. And it's incredibly educational to see, and especially for liver surgery, to see how experienced surgeons plan their approach. The uh, fellow that I'm hoping to train is someone who will be an active leader, whether it's in an academic uh, university department or even in a, a high-paced community hospital program. I think surgical oncologists will be the leadership in cancer-driven care. This is a demanding job, but these relationships really make it an enjoyable one.